Hello, good morning, evening, wherever you may be. This is Apex Comics. I have a box to open, of course. I may open two. This is from Lone Star Comics. Because I do want to know what's in there. I can keep up what I need and don't need. That's why it's very important I need to open these boxes to know what the heck did I order last time. When did I order this? It always comes to that. As of this recording, the comic book auction on Red Valkyrie channel will be on as Apex Comics. You guys know me. From 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay? June 19th. Which is tomorrow as of this... Well, actually this morning. It's going to be... It's going to be today. <clears throat> as of this recording. Right. So catch it. I've got some stuff to sell. I've got some doozies to sell, guys. If you like sketch cards, if you like um, original color pieces, I have those. Check out, check it out. Um, 12 to 2, uh, there's six artists. I'll be on with Don Chen, among others. Um, uh, Shay the Red and Wolverine. Well, not the Wolverine in the comics, of course. There's, a, there's an artist named Wolverine, but... Believe it or not, Don Chen's from the Radioactive Hamsters, in case you don't know who he is. He's, a, he's Parody Press currently. He's, he's crowdfunding Berserker on Indiegogo. Please check it out. And, uh, yes, it's going to be a fun, thrilling day. It's an all-day um, auction. So, ooh, I got the Fear, Fearless Fury. Ashcan number one. Ah, oh, that is so cool. I got a really good price. I think it goes about... Four dollars or something. No. Anyway, uh, Hit Monkey. <laughs> yes, the graphic novel Hit Monkey. He appeared in Deadpool. I love this. This is really nice. Um, kind of look through this a little bit. Briefly look through. Don't want to reveal it in case you want to order Hit Monkey. Yeah. What a character. Hit monkey! Oh. <laughs> Hit monkey, bullets and bananas. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hit monkey. Alright. Yeah, I remember this cover. I, had ch I probably had the chance, but I kind of blew it for buying single issues. This came out in 2010, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe earlier than that. Um. Really cool. This is basically the origin of Hit Monkey. He gets trained by assassins. Huh? That is so nuts. All right, I want to take a look at at uh, the Fearless Fury, 1963. This came out in 1993. This is a limited edition Ashcan. This is how Image Comics does Ashcan. This is Ashcan preview. This is a, it looks looks really good. They even printed the. Well, of course, the uh, disclaimers it looks like this. Looks like this is a hand letter. This is a really good job. Very neat. <laughs> well, this is really cool. It's like pencils, I believe. Yeah, it looks like pencils. It's a good job. This is all without the letters. Ooh. <laughs> so he fights a shadow. This is crazy really awesome there's a monster with it I don't want to reveal the whole thing but this is really awesome Ooh. some characters from 1963 I want to open the next box I have time for that sure we have time Apex oh yeah Hope you guys are supporting the comic book community, which I am a part of, and I'm part of a community of people who want to make comics great again, aka Comicscape. Yes, we just want to make comics great again so people can enjoy them. We're not racist, we're not Yahtzees, we're not that crap. 
That's what these dumb NPC characters accuse comics made of. You may have heard of it. It's BS. What they say. I don't know. They're scared. They're scared of losing their their comic book credentials from the mainstream comic book industry, which is suffering right now. Marvel and DC. I heard DC is not publishing any new material because of the manga. People are creating manga. Just Distributing manga, they're kicking their ass. They are. Indeed, they are. <laughs> and DC doesn't have the budget to afford these artists and writers much anymore. You know why? Because they, when they print out, they publish woke crap. Woke makes you broke. Just publish something you like. Tell a story you're passionate about. That's what sells comics. Yeah, no one wants to get political. That's I get it, man. That's a pain in the butt. But you know what? Make comics fun again. Make comics people enjoy. Like Daredevil. <laughs> Damn, I, did I order this already? No, I did not. Okay. No, it's 59. And Werewolf by Night. The 22. Look at that. And... You have great comics of Werewolf by Night number 17. And you get a Midnight Sun's Ash Can on top of that. That finally came in. That's cool. And then Werewolf by Night 20. Wow, I'm really I'm really having some good good luck with uh, with my comic shop.com, aka Lone Star Comics out of Arlington, Texas. <laughs> oh I love this. Ah, I have a hankering to actually s just take a look at Daredevil. I'm sure Roderickan would appreciate that because Daredevil and the Flash are his favorite characters. Oh lordy! Well, I could actually do that. Wait. Oh, screw it. All right. Let's just open it carefully. As a collector would do. Yes. Oh, Torpedo will, will get you if you don't watch out. <laughs> so is this the origin of the Torpedo? Torpedo being a <coughs> quote-unquote bad guy, I believe. This his costume's a bit different from the other torpedo. Oh, that's crazy. I love Gene Collins' art. So dynamic. Draws great dogs, too. Oh, this is... Okay, this is torpedo? Oh, you will fight with the torpedo. He's wearing a... He's wearing a pimp hat. <laughs> oh... This is, I don't want to reveal the ending, but this is awesome. I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, people are sure love it. Oh. Well, let me go ahead and put them on the NC collection here. Um, Midnight Suns. Um, let's check out this ash can. Wonderful ash can. I do like making ash cans, too. I have quite a few. I've made still need to actually film some of my ash cans. I, I should do that. Whoa, this is Bobby Chase. I remember Bobby Chase back in the day. Yeah, Ghost Rider, Blaze, Morbius, Blade, Vampire Hunters, Doctor Strange, The Midnight Suns. Midnight Suns. So, this is a bit of a glimpse. Seems like a glimpse of each character's. What a, a bit of a synopsis. Doctor Strange with the mask, yeah. Blade, I remember that. Look that pose right there. Yep, more OBS, the living vampire. Well, takes a life day by day. Well, a guilty life. A, a bad... Uh, yeah, I wonder... He kills evil people, basically. And sucks their blood. Morbius does. Yeah, Blade, look at that. That's nice. 
All right. I am curious about Werewolf by Night. I remember Stanley back in the day. He he had a trip to Hollywood. He goes, Well, Marvel can actually have a Werewolf by Night movie. It's basically a werewolf movie. It's nothing any different, Stan. So I think Hollywood kind of turned that down. It's a great book for its time. Well, it still is. And I haven't... The new Werewolf by Night, I'm not... I haven't read it yet, so I can't be the judge of it. But I bet it's nothing as good as this. Some Dom Perlin artwork. You get a letter page, too. Look at that. Oh, man, someone cut the Marvel stamp out. Ah, oh, what a pisser. No wonder it didn't cost that much. The behemoth. Yeah. Let's control the behemoth. Roar. That's crazy. Yep. Uh, is this werewolf by night behind bars? Not any longer. He's going to rip them out. Indeed, he just might. Wow. Okay. Eye of the Wolf. And a synopsis, I think. Uh, so, Giant Size Creatures, number one, which I have. That's going up in price. I think it's like over $100. Maybe $200. I'm not sure. Depends on condition. Ah, oh, thank goodness I have it, though. Bought it. When did I buy it? I can't remember. That's I think it's sometime in the nineties I bought that. At a very decent price, or maybe early two thousands. I bought it, I think, along with a over um I bought a long box of full over a hundred comics inside the box. I think it could have been Yeah. It's great. Oh I got a black night stamp, that's cool. I used to cut some of these out back then. That was dumb. That was dumb to, to actually cut a stamp and make a comic less worthy. Gotta have the stamp in there. Um, I don't know if color copies were available in 1975. You couldn't really color copy it. What well, you could do in black and white, it wouldn't be as. They probably should have done that. <laughs> If you had a photo copy it, photo copy the page first before you don't even damage your comic. And we were kids, we weren't thinking collectability. It wasn't as pre prevalent as today. I mean, no one was really thinking about it. It's like, oh, it's cool, it's cool comic. I got him, I got him, man. It's... Oh wait, another value stamp. What did I get? What did I get? Oh, I get Bucky, a.k.a. Winter Soldier, <laughs> number 51, this is really cool, he's, he's, he's fighting a bunch of big dudes, seems like, it's, is that the theme of these comics, behemoths and freaking henchmen and crap, but anyway, it's glorious, it's a glorious packages, I love them, here they are in their glory, Indeed they are. Here we go, here we go. Here we go in our rock and roll. You know it. You like it. You dig it. Um, let's see. Where could I step to to actually show? I'll give you a preview while I'm selling at the uh, auction. Um, let me stand by, yeah? Standing by, standing by. I. This is only a preview. Yes, sketch cards. Balmong thinks some color pieces. You have to stay tuned. I have more to sell, of course. But here you go. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Make sure you're still subscribed to my channel. YouTube has a funny way of unsubscribing people, and it's not cool. So anyway, share. Share this video, too. And be, please, 
just check out what Valkyrie tomorrow, 12 p.m., 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Ciao for now.